So, <clears throat> what's your name? Erica Mayers. Being here with me and <laughs> interviewing. <laughs> um, so, I'm supposed to do this interview for school and talking about my blog. I need to uh, discuss traveling, uh, the art of traveling, what it does for you, what it does to people, how can we achieve these uh, traveling highs when we're not traveling. Um, how can you travel cheaper? How can you travel faster? Not faster, how can you get to places with ease? Uh, is it for everyone? Like what are some roadblocks that stop you from traveling? Why do we travel? Like what? what's this whole deal with traveling? Why do people like to go out and see things? Why don't we just stay in one place? But I guess like, what does traveling mean to you? What does traveling mean to me? Hmm. Well, traveling can be so many things. It can be about exploring new places just to learn the culture, eat the food, hear the language, engage and interact with people that live there. But it can also be about leaving where you're from, leaving what you're used to, what you're comfortable with, and really um, trying to venture into something new, something brand new, different than you've ever experienced before. Um, it brings a lot of people really important life lessons. Um, and to me, traveling has been about um, learning about people, but also exposing myself to new ideas and being able to get the inspiration to become more creative and come up with ideas. And I've been in school online the whole time I've been traveling. And so for me, it's been kind of this productive way of being able to accomplish something while at the same time uh, seeing new places and trying to incorporate and integrate what I've learned in those places uh, into my future career and the education that I'm pursuing. Mm -hmm. So you feel like you're learning something on the way as you travel? Yeah, absolutely, every step of the way. And you mentioned that you're also going to school while you're traveling. That's Is that something that a lot of people do? or? Uh -huh. Is that something you would recommend for people to do? Yeah, I think it's a great idea, especially if you're if you're doing it online or if you have a chance to study abroad or do an internship. I think it's a really great opportunity to to put yourself into situations that are away from your your home or where um, you're rooted, and to to travel while in school. It's not always easy. It's definitely can be really challenging and difficult. Manage your time and remain disciplined. Um, to get everything done, but it's definitely uh, a great way to travel, I think. I haven't met too many people who are also in school online while traveling. I've met yeah. a couple people. I've met people who are doing continuing education stuff while they're um, a traveling nurse. Um, so yeah, you meet a lot of different people who are doing different things on the road. Mm -hmm. Learning yeah. about all sorts of different things. Yeah, yeah. Workshops, seminars, conferences. Different ways of living. Yeah, absolutely. Everything community. Lifestyle. Yeah. Things of that nature. Do you know where uh, traveling came from? Hmm. The word? Yeah, the word. Yeah, huh. So I looked it up for this interview. <laughs> okay, what does it say? <laughs> so let's see. Uh, the etymo etymology um, so from Middle English, uh, it means travelian, uh, to torment, labor, labor, strive or journey, um, but from the French uh, travailler, uh, it means to torment or labor. From an under unrecorded Latin verb, tripalia, it means to torture. Uh, yeah. From Latin tripalium, an instrument of torture. Um, literally uh, three stakes derived from tri and palus stake, tripalus. Uh, Pale related to uh, pale and travail uh, in Latin, but uh, there's a story that talks about that back in the Middle Ages, there, there was no paved roads, there's no cars, obviously, uh, people had horses and things of this nature to get around, 
but there it was a hassle it was a hardship it was essentially torture to go out of your way and go to another town to travel and see something new mm -hmm. it was kind of a rough path essentially it wasn't easy it wasn't something that everyone did um, you left the comfort of your home uh, like leaving your friends family all that was a big task um, but yeah now it's become such a convenient thing it's so easy yeah. for us to travel it's so accessible right super yeah. accessible I could right be now, across like the country in a couple hours if I wanted to yeah yeah on plane car mm -hmm. absolutely what do you think about that like the definition of like uh, torture makes... like where it came from like a hardship it makes is, sense is... where it came from yeah. it speaks about like labor you know it took a lot of work to yeah. get to where you're going you weren't it wasn't for for uh, leisure for fun um, especially in Western society we have a lot of time for for leisure time to travel, ability to travel, accessibility, as I mentioned before. And so I think now we're we're more able to do it and it isn't always very torturous, um, at least for a lot of part of it. But other times you are put in situations in other countries um, where it is more difficult to get around or there's different modes of transportation mm -hmm. than we have here. Um, like so readily third available. World country or something. Yeah, or even, you know, when I was in Mexico, everyone takes colectivos to get around, you know. It's a pickup truck with a, a cover over the top, and everyone just pays, you know, seven pesos to get a ride to the market, to the beach, anywhere, and they all go on different roads and have different routes. It's basically their bus system. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a really common way to, to get around there. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool, but it's not always uh, hard work, but it's funny how you said it wasn't always, you know, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go travel. It took a lot, you know. Yeah. Now people um, don't want to leave the comfort, or want to leave the comfort of the home, their home, whereas then right. they didn't, you didn't. know, or going to travel. It was more of, um, like, necessary. Do you think there's uh, something to be said about this hardship, uh this metaphor of hardship and uh, having to go through the road less traveled, like breaking away from what you know, the comfort, and trying to learn, like if we, as we get our, ourselves outside of our comfort zone, we learn things that we otherwise wouldn't. Um, kind of like that's how we learn the greatest things in life without mm -hmm the bad there wouldn't be good I think that correlates yeah absolutely I mean I think it's how we we learn from our whole lives is through pushing ourselves right past what we've already done into something that's almost within our reach so we actually have to work for it and that's how we we end up you know successfully developing but we develop over the course of our whole lives not just during childhood um, and it's uh, it's a process known as, as scaffolding and you work within your zone of proximal development and so you know as a child you, the teacher would put the child in the position of here's this task to do that you can almost do maybe with a little bit of help and guidance that you can't quite do by yourself um, but you're gonna be able to accomplish it with help you know and that way the child is able to do it whereas if they gave them a task that was even harder it was way out of their reach they would get frustrated mm -hmm. their self-esteem you know would remain low they would not you know promote healthy self-esteem or confidence um and the ability to you know work through each task so i think that adults try to put themselves in positions such as you mm -hmm. know the the hardships of traveling that can come right. with traveling um in order to push themselves to learn because they're putting themselves in that zone proximal development where they can like take that next step and learn the next right. the next lesson you know? it's actually really cool never thought about it like that never wrote a whole thing on it that's really cool i yeah. like that yeah i think we're always kind of working to grow whether we know it or not yeah yeah 
What has been your most life-changing traveling experience? Mm. It's hard to say what the most life-changing experience was. Um, I think everything combined together has really created the experience. Um, hmm. It's all really been rather transformative. <laughs> Back at it again. Back at it. <laughs> Back at it. Um, so where were we? Um, what do you think has been the most uh, changing, the most instrumental trip that you've ever had, the most life-changing ex experience that you've felt through your travels? Well, I've always taken... Uh some short trips um, to different places um, but this past year I took a trip and I was gone from Austin um, just taking trip after trip after trip and I was gone for about five months um, and it's the longest period I've been consistently and constantly traveling with no, uh, no place to, to call home, no place um, arranged with my things um, and I think that that was a really big experience for me uh, because I had never not had a, a home before. Um, and so to really try to make home uh, wherever I was while I was traveling uh, was a really, really amazing, life-changing experience. Yeah. Yeah. So they're all kind of different. It's every travel you find something new. It's not a certain yeah. specific life-changing experience from everything. I mean, it's all life-changing. Yeah, it's all life-changing. All of it's transformative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continuing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, just to make it quick, um, have you ever used any uh, any traveling websites? Have you ever exchanged labor for room and board? Um, are you aware of all these websites and resources that we have online? There's so many cool things that travelers can use now. So many different sites. I'm sure I don't know about all of them, but I've used Couchsurfing, and mm -hmm. that's been really amazing. We don't trade any uh, resources for that, but um, it's a really great way to meet people and uh, a way to kind of feel the generosity of humanity, too, that offers uh home and experiences to a lot of people, but I've also used WorkAway, uh, so I worked in a hostel, I worked on a ranch that was being turned into a permaculture farm, and so I've had the opportunity to exchange my labor for um, room and board, um, and it's been wonderful uh, being in those two different places. Uh, they were quite different, but a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very yeah. neat. Yeah, very neat. You get to meet a lot of people kind of feel um, like a local, you get to feel exactly. like, kind of like the inns, um, you're able to really experience life where you are, um, instead of just kind of um, floating. Right, yeah. instead of kind of uh, being just another tourist. In yeah, back spot. to what I was saying before, you know, yeah, a productive like a way local. to travel, yeah. you know, uh, giving back to the community. Um, because wherever we, you'll be working, you'll be offering something to the community, and then um, seeing the way life is lived. Yeah, exactly. Not just going to these uh, famous spots yeah, that people build up for you. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you still get to experience them, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meeting good people. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun yeah. to talk with you about traveling. Yeah. Everyone should go somewhere. Everyone should see see new things and yeah, get a little things. dirty. <laughs> yeah, go barefoot everywhere, except for those parasites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those little scrapes and bruises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And no to no torturing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no torturing, but <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Push yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Signing <laughs> off. Let's see. Let's go.
Let me check if we still have battery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if we had just been talking this whole time? <laughs> it's not recording. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Did it record? Uh, yeah, no, it's going. Yeah, we got it. Should have said it all that out and I'll start over because I'm not sure. No, that was good. That was good. Okay, so 